Hi guys, welcome to another video. I've just finished work and I've got all these parcels to open up. So, um, a couple of them are Dreamcast games and this big item. I'm going to leave that to last to show you. So I've been really looking forward to this item coming because it's going to go and match the other item that I've got anyway. So, I think you know what it'll be. But, um, so, let's start unwrapping some of these games and stuff. Um, I'll start off here. I think I know exactly what these ones are. Um, these are just discs only. Um, and it's... Yeah, South Park Chefs Love Shack. I was after a replacement. My one's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's just... It's... There's a, a scratch. Um, it's around about here, actually. But it's not went through the data. But with me being being a, a fuss pot, I, I wasn't happy. So, yeah, I managed to get a replacement. That This absolutely meant. That's... That's amazing, that. That's absolutely mint. So, yeah, I'm well chuffed at that. I'll just have a quick look. Yeah, this one seems to be flawless, so quite buzzing I got that. I didn't I didn't spend too much on it because I had nectar points on my eBay. So I had, like, what was it, about 6,000. So I used the points to get these replacements in. So that's one, that's one replacement disc. And I know what this one is because I bought two replacement discs. Um, the other one was Evil Dead Hail to the King. Again, nothing wrong with the disc. But in my previous video, if you remember, I went over the NFL quarterback and how to remove the permanent ink marker. Well, my copy had permanent ink marker on it and you can still see it. So, me being a fuss pot, wasn't happy with that, so I picked this one up, just check there, to make sure the that's all fine. Yeah, it's got some surface scratches on it, but it's, it's nothing too bad, I'm happy with that, I'll give that a quick go over with the GFJ. But, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, the, the two games that I got off my Nectar Point, so, no cost really, so chuffed at that. Um, I'll probably just put my ones up um, with the, the games that I've got left from that big massive bundle. I'll just get rid of them that way. So yeah, I'm chuffed I've got these replacements now. Um, another one. Right, this um, I'm not too sure what, if this is the one. Yeah, it is. Um, I asked this seller to send it in the box and I paid them an extra two quid to send it in the box. And after I paid them the extra two quid, they were like, oh, I can't, I can't find the box. So we've just put it in loads of um, Jiffy bags. So I don't hear any rattle. So I'm hoping that this isn't damaged because to find like a decent copy of this, is it's, it's quite hard because like when you're looking for one, it's, it's either got labels all over the case and stuff like that. You know, so... I'm down to, what is it, seven games on my Dreamcast collection now, guys. It's, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. So, yeah, it's, oh, I hope this isn't broke, honestly. I dread Dreamcast games coming in Jiffy Bags. I really dread it, guys. I really hope this is fine. Um, yeah, the case, no broken hinges, that's good. Yep, that's fine. Please don't be broken teeth. Oh, no broken teeth. And no broken teeth, thank God for that. And a good manual as well. That manual's good condition. So, yeah, white surface marks, hardly any use. So, quick minute in the JFJ, it'll be new. So, buzzing, I got that. got that one for 14 quid, so yeah. And the case is in really, really good condition as well, so I'm really chuffed at that. Because um, there was a lot of them on uh, eBay, and 
uh, the condition of them was just either broken cases or you know you seen the disc and it was really badly damaged or it was the manual the manuals are the main things for me um rusty staples because nah <laughs> i don't like the rusty staple thing it, it just uh it just degrades the manual a bit i think but i'm actually looking forward to playing this because it's got some cool old school games on it so yeah i'm glad i've got that um another thing as well i want to like put across i don't know if this is just me but um you know this dreamcast banner and you've got the, the black dreamcast logo this indicates to me that the case has been swapped because when the, the, the games first come out, they didn't have the banner on that. So games without the banner, to me, it seems to be they have the the black Dreamcast logo on the spine. And the ones with the banner have the sort of, what is it, embossed, debossed, sorry, um, Dreamcast with no, no paint. So I don't know, I might be wrong on that, but, you know, a lot of the games that I picked up with the banner have not had the, the paint. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, this one as well. Let's have a look. I'm going to be playing this one at the weekend. I've been dying to open up my my edition, but yeah, there we go. Um, Doom Eternal, it's a Amazon exclusive. Um, I, I've got the actual collector's edition, but I didn't want to open up the steel book. I know, pointless, but... It's a collector's edition, so I w I've been waiting till this drop down in price. So I got this from Amazon for twenty, which I'm happy about, you know. And it comes with this um, steel steel poster thing, which I've never seen in the game before. So yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this. Play it at the weekend. Right. Um. So this one, I've been waiting a while for this one. If it is this. I've still got a few parcels coming. Um, I have been hammering in a few hours in work as well. Oops, not showing you me opening. <laughs> so it's helping fund some of this stuff. Um, what I do is like any money that I make off the Dreamcast games that goes towards just Dreamcast stuff, nothing else. So these items like the Doom and that are from my personal money. You know that I saved up from work and stuff. So. But it is a good thing to get into, guys, you know, like, I'm really interested in, like, picking up, like, you know, game bundles and stuff like that, because, not to make, like, huge profits, but if there's something out there that you want and you can't afford it, you know, it does help towards it. Right. No, I'm wondering if this is the game. I can see it already. I, I tried to, I knocked this guy down because he said this was new. And... I asked him to send me photos, he says the case wasn't, so, but on his listing it says it was new, but uh, I was just a bit dubious about this listing to be open honest with you, but do you know what, if I'm not happy with it, it goes back, but he wanted um, 40 quid for this, and I said that's not worth that, I know how much this goes for, you know, I've seen how much it goes for. Goes around like the fifteen to twenty pound mark, so I'll wait my time with this one. But yeah, the the case seems fine. You know, the case seems fine. This is what I wanted to look at. Ah, see on his on his pictures. See there, this is what I was a bit on. I was a bit dubious about that because I thought it was on the artwork. You know, but all it is is just it looks like it's just sticky residue. So I'm happy at that. Um. Let's check the manual. Yeah, manual's fine, no rust. And it's even got the... Yeah, that's fine. He wanted 39 99 for this. And because I asked him, you know, about pictures and stuff like that, he says the case wasn't, like, brand new. But this... You know, the case isn't brand new. He knocked a tenner off it. You know, so... Um, I grabbed it because... Yeah, disc is new. That disc brilliant. It's got... A, Got a couple of fingerprints on it, but yeah, that's fine. So good price, good, a bit pricey, but you know, I, I bought it new, so yeah, I'm glad I got that. That one's become that bugger to get as well with, um, you know, 
the manuals. The manuals now are, that's a key thing to look at when you're buying these Dreamcast games. Ask about the manuals and the staples. Seriously, because I bought a couple of games and the staples have been that rusted. And when you open the centre of the, the manual, it's destroyed the pages. You know, with the, the actual staples folding in the middle. So just be careful of that. Ask these questions. Right. Okay, now to the biggies. I've been looking forward to this guy, so ho hopefully this unboxing is better than uh, Samba the Amigo for you, so... Yeah, let's have a go. Right, so I'll do it this way this time. This will be my first PS5, like a, you know, collector's edition, so I'm quite happy at this. I need to get a better knife when I'm opening parcels up there. This one's a bit blunt. Easy to easy to open because when I got the first edition anyway. So I know what to expect. So I am gonna unbox this all for these guys. I'm not just gonna Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know what it is now, don't you? So I'm kinda of guessing. When you think about it, I've spent an absolute fortune on this game, but it's it's one of them, you know. It, it was the very first fighting game I ever played, so I'm a big fan of it. I'm not saying I'm great at them, but um, right, so I'll put that there. Make that box for you. Right. Yeah, there you go, guys. It's there. Mortal Kombat Ultimate Collector's Edition, so, yeah. Right, so, I'll do this carefully, because I don't want to... These things are a, a nightmare. You know, so, you really got to be careful peeling these. You know, I don't want to damage the... You know, just take your time when you're doing these things. You know. And, yeah. Luckily, that one's taken off, so, yeah. So that's me, that's me first PlayStation 5 collector's edition item, so I'm quite chuffed at that. So, this is, I think you know where this is going to go. I'm going to do a follow-up video, you know. I'll do a follow-up video and I'll show you it all. Um, I won't do it tonight because I'm a, you know, I've been in work all day, so. Um, right, so... Turn that I mean, with the the premium one, you know, the collector's one that came out last year, it was just like, I think they overcharged for it. I think they've overcharged for this as well, by a long shot. You know, I was a bit pissed off, to be open honest with you, because when I got the collector's edition, you know, on the PS4, it was like, you got the combat pack one, Right, and then you got you got two steel books, you know, and I was like, "What? Why are you giving me two steel books? I'm not going to use them." You know, and that that one was what was the, what was it I paid for that? That was I think it was two seven nine I paid for that. This was two two nine, but this has got everything with it. But to be honest with you guys, the only reason why I bought this, yeah, it's got the additional DLC which I don't have. I don't have yet. I've, I've got this on the PC as well. Um, I have a bit of a, you know, not a combat fan. Like, right. so, oh, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna go with me other one anyway. I only really bought it because it's got the Sub Zero mask, and it's gonna go with my Scorpion one up on that shelf. So. Yeah, good, good, good to watch my Mortal Kombat shrine. So let's have a look here. Let's see exactly. Right, so you get another steel book. What's in that? What's heavy? Um, okay, I'm a bit. 
I'm a bit confused why that's there. Why have they put that? I understand about the coin thing, well, you know, but why is that like that? Didn't get that in the other steel book. Hmm. That's strange, that. Oh. Don't know. Right, um, so what we've got here is the Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate for the PS5. PlayStation 5 should come tomorrow, hopefully. And what else have we got here? Right, so we've got here, I can't show you the full thing, Avalanche Sub-Zero. So, let's see what else is in it. Is there any other codes? Nope, no other codes. Right, so we've got a certificate of authenticity. Okay, yeah, that's cool. I've seen that. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not baffling me about that steel brick. I'm not really baffling me that. You know, you would have thought they're putting that in there for a reason. Hmm. I'm not too sure about this. It says you were supposed to get him. There's supposed to be something else in this bundle. It's in here somewhere. I'll just move the pieces there. It said something about, on the, you know, the game website that you were supposed to get, like, ice cube things. Yeah, maybe they've... Yeah, it looks like they've... Let's see... Yeah, that's a bit cheeky. Because you were supposed to get ice cube moulds. And it doesn't look like it's on it. That's a bit cheeky. Maybe they changed that. I'll be contacting game tomorrow with that. Maybe it's in here. Just a bit. Yeah, this is the main reason I've got this, because I wanted this to go with um, you know, the other one. Put that down. Right. Do I want to get the bag? What if not, like... Well, they have this one. They might melt the bag. Why? I thought it would be taped. Or is it? Zero head, so that's gonna go with the other one. Yeah, I like I, I actually like this one better than the scorpion one. It's the detail and it's lovely. And it, I don't know, it just the actual the actual thing feels a bit more. Doesn't it feels a bit better quality? Yeah. Maybe they listen to people from. The collector's edition one, but that's it, guys. Right. Yeah, but I wonder what happened with the... The ice cube bones. Right, so let's put that back in, so... And then... Keep the silica pouches. And keep the stuff. Right. So that's 
かな、ね、<笑>いや、yeah, I'm gonna be keeping the steel pick in that out anyway, because that's all going out on display, so. Um, in regards to the game, I will be using it. I mean, usually when I get these editions, I usually have the standalone, and then I usually just buy all the DLC when it come when it's when it's either like at a fair price or with what I done with Mortal Kombat X was I had that and I waited until they released the Mortal Kombat XL, but I only paid like about twenty quid for the Mortal Kombat XL, you know, disc. Disc edition, so so right. Let's have a, a look at this. If I get that the wrong way, is it? No, it's just a be weapon. Now, that oh, that's a bit tricky. This one seems a bit, bit awkward to put on. There we go, and then that's that one. So, oh, let's have a look at the back, because it definitely did say, there we go, right so, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate, exclusive DLC Avalanche Sub-Zero skin, exclusive steel case with die cut magnet, yeah they have, they've took the it was supposed to come with, um, what was it, Sub-Zero Ice Cube moulds, you know, it must be like a rubber dream, I don't know why they've took that off actually, that's, oh well, do you know what, doesn't matter, I'm not bothered, I wouldn't have used them anyway, so, yeah, and that's it guys, that's my unboxing for today, um, I hope you've enjoyed, and um, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, I'm going to grab some tea now, so, you just take care. Bye now.